Courtney Stewart is next with her question for right. Ms. Coburn. <laughs> Hello, candidates. I'm glad to be here with you tonight. My question is brief. Is health care a basic human right? Ms. Coburn, you. For me, health care is a basic human right. I think that we have a completely dysfunctional health care system right now in the 5th District. We have had a crisis in Charlottesville because of uh, the Trump administration removing subsidies from insurance companies and also getting rid of the individual mandate, which takes healthy people out of the pool. So you had a situation this summer where you could be a family of four on the individual market paying $36,000 a year with a $12,000 deductible. This is not sustainable. So we need to put the Affordable Care Act back into place. My opponent wants to uh, ditch the Affordable Care Act. I have quite a different view. We desperately need it. We need it because all of the people in the 5th District, by and large, have pre-existing conditions. If we have to go back to the days before the ACA, when if you had a pre-existing condition, you could be denied health insurance. If you had diabetes, you could be denied health insurance. If you'd had cancer, you could be denied health insurance. This is not right. It is not right, and I'd say we need to go well beyond reestablishing the ACA, and I believe in Medicare for all. Okay, Mr. Riggleman. That's an interesting question. Um, when you look at the Constitution specifically, and me, I'm going to answer the question in a couple different ways. Number one, I don't believe health care is a basic human right. Honestly, I believe that each state has responsibilities to make sure people